Hey YouTube, it's Justin. Well, you know, again, demonetized. But anyway, we'll flush the toilet on YouTube. Uh, today, this video is uh, how to change disc brake pads on your dump truck or semi truck. Now, I'm gonna tell you, go ahead and get out the old target easy button and smack that fucker. This shit is easy as hell. Uh, if you don't have disc brakes on your truck, you're kind of fucking stupid uh, because this shit's simple to change. Now, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the part numbers and uh, you can get two different brake pads on this Bendix system here. I'm going to explain it to you. Uh, then we'll get over and I'll show you how to do this. I'll just give you a little secret. It takes longer to take the wheels off than it does to change the brake pads. Go figure. But anyway, uh, so what we got here is I have trucks with Bendix brakes on it. The truck has about 40,000 miles on it, and yes, I'm putting brake pads on it. Now, the disc brakes seem to last longer from what I was told, uh, and it kind of, they kind of do, they kind of don't. Depends on the driver. Depends on how hard they are on the fucking brakes. Uh, you know, the better drivers are going to get better wear out of them because they're just they're just not as hard on them uh, you know they use momentum and not accelerate really fast and then jam on the brakes but anyway uh, I get I got a little bit nervous uh, that the brake pads were getting a little thin uh, because you know I just got 40,000 miles on it and I said fuck it let's check it just to make sure uh, because if you let them go too thin the pads will fall out okay when the pads fall out uh, it fucks up the rotor and the actual caliper, and I think it's like $2,500 a side, Peterbilt told me, or $2,500 an axle for the actual calipers. So, the brake pads at $164 bucks per axle is way better, okay? Uh, so, the brake pads that I'm putting on, okay, uh, I'll let you read this part number. This is the standard brake pad, okay? I have some more aggressive ones. So, this is how thick it is. Um, it's got some kind of stuff on there. I don't know what, what that is. I think it's like some kind of graphite to give it some whatever. Okay, so these are the standard pads. Now, okay, you can get more aggressive pads that last a little bit longer. Now, there is an, that's an upside. The downside is it'll destroy the rotors every time that you use these brake pads. You never want to use them on the front, the aggressive ones. Uh, so the aggressive part number is that right there, okay? Now, uh, these are the aggressive pads. They're a little bit more much and they come with three dots. So you can get that, just remember uh, it will it will tear the fucking rotors up and you won't get as many times. They said that you can do three brake pad changes for one set of rotors. That's what they told me. So um, I'll go ahead and get swung around here, show you what you got to do. Uh, this stuff, again, very simple. Not very many tools, not very much of fucking anything. Uh, I got to get you swung around here so you can see, but again, Remember, this is the first time I'm doing it. Uh, if I can do it, you can do it. This is not that fucking difficult. Like I said, it takes longer to get the wheels off than it does to do this. So uh, let me get you moved around here and uh, we'll just go ahead and start taking this shit apart. Okay, uh, so I'm now I'm in here. Uh, I'm just trying to stay out of your guys' way. Okay, what you need is a 10 millimeter uh, ratchet. I recommend quarter inch, just so you're not putting that much uh, torque down on this gear and um, you pull off this little fucking plug right here okay then this is how you roll the brakes back so you want to make sure you're going in the right way you're gonna hear this click so again you just roll this stuff back and there's plenty of room to get these pads in there
Okay, you don't want to go too hard on this uh, because it's got this thing on there and it's made to break away. So you'll break this before you break the caliper. Okay, so we got that. Now what we got to do, okay, I don't know if you can see this. There is a little clip here, okay? Now obviously they got this on the wrong way. I don't like that they have it like this. So get yourself a little pair of needle nose pliers here and uh, there's the clip right there. We're not going to need that. Okay, let's take this off. Now, Now we got that. Let me get this. Okay. So what we need to do, put that right there. What we need to do here is uh, pound out this pin. Okay. Uh, go ahead and discard all this stuff. You're not going to need it. Your new brakes come with that. Um, you got your dust shield. So put that right there. All right. Go ahead and pull your brake pads out. Now, as you can see, these brake pads are pretty thin compared to the other ones. Now, how are you supposed to know when uh, the brake pads start scraping? So this tang, how this is in here, uh, this is what holds the pads in. This will start rubbing on the rotor, okay? That's how you kind of know. I got it before then. We're not totally down to the wear line, but, uh, you know, I would say, you know, we got more than halfway to go. So we could have made it a little bit longer, but uh, as you can see, you know, these are all kind of cracked up and just not very good. So... We get that. This is how thick a new one is. So you can see, you know, we're pretty, we're pretty low. Okay. Now you get these calipers ready. You got these blue clips here. So you put that on there like that, and then that takes some serious muscle. Oh, get out our another one. Take the blue clip again. Helps if you get it lined up, stupid. Oh, you motherfucker. Okay, there's that. Now we'll set those out of the way. Now what we need to do, I just like to give this a good douching. Just to get all this old brake pad shit out of here. All right, now you just wanna make sure that your caliper moves real good. Slide that over. Okay, now we gotta grab 
our dust shield again. Okay, now like I said, they give us new hardware. Where the hell's the other? Oh. Okay, so they give us new hardware. Let me try to get back in here because this takes uh this takes a little bit here because I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. <coughs> These springs are real fucking serious. Alright. Now the reason I'm on this cart is I'm just trying to stay a little bit clean. Okay, so now we got our we gotta swing this just like this. Now what we gotta do is this is not gonna work. Whew. Get our dust shield back up in there. Use our punch. Okay. Now we gotta try to be, let me get rid of this cart. Okay, so we got our punch in there. And then we gotta try to, oh, you fucker. See, it doesn't want to... Okay. You gotta try to... You motherfucker. Well, you gotta try to hold this in and uh, slide your clip in. Once you get it, Whew. okay, let me, let me think how I did this last time. Last time I used my leg. comes with is this washer goes up underneath there and you get a new little clip clip that in okay now um, you do get some new ones of these things and a new rubber cap so what I like to do is this is extending them out. We extend them out till it till it stops. 
and then one, two clicks. There's that. Take this, shove it up in there, put your cap over it. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. We are done. Brake pads installed. And uh, that's all there really is to it. Like I said, target easy button. Whap! Hit that fucker. Uh, go about your day. So we got these done. Um, now we can go a little bit more. I got it kind of a gauge on where we're going. So uh, that's really it to uh, these disc brakes. Remember, it's very simple. Alrighty, I uh, hope you enjoyed this video of me showing you how to do these uh, disc brake pads. Again, not, not that bad. I may be a little bit premature on these brake pads. Uh, I'd rather do some preventative maintenance stuff than tear up $2,500 a side of parts and pieces. Uh, it's just, you know, 164 bucks, like I said, for these brake pads. And that's enough to do one axle, so you get left and right. But, uh, you know, I think that's a fair price. Uh, you know, I don't think it's too much money. But anyway, uh, like always, check out Justin Sturgill Trucking. Uh, Facebook, Instagram, uh, my Patreon account, uh, you know, go to justinsturgiltrucking.us. Uh, if you guys want to purchase any merchandise, you know, t-shirts, hoodies, uh, beanies, and hats, you know, you'd be out there representing my company. Thank you uh, for everybody that's ever bought anything before. But, uh, you know, like always, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, I got to fucking go.